So, uh, unfortunately, when we got up to our coop area and our quail coop this morning, something has gotten um, a bunch of our quails, which is kind of upsetting. So, um, I assume this mess was going to be small enough um, to keep our predators that we have here out, but um, they've got the heads off of all three of the ones that were in here. We've moved some of the other ones to a different coop now, but uh, yeah, we've seen an owl around for a bit, so I don't... That's the only predator I've seen. The only other thing it could be is uh, mink, otter, or raccoons, but they've obviously somehow got the heads through that uh, wire mesh there. So we're gonna have to get some smaller mesh on, on top of that just to double it up. But uh, yeah, I may come and spend some time out here at night and see if we can figure out exactly what's doing it. Cause I'm definitely curious cause that's kind of gruesome and short to start that. But uh, yeah, they've taken the heads heads right off them so we thought they'd be nice and secure in there but uh i guess not and back to the to the drawing board so after we uh did that post this morning we only had uh one quail left and came out here it's not even that late and uh Someone's already gotten to her or something. Has already gotten to our last quail here. So we now unfortunately have lost all of them. And I'm still not sure what it was. I was sure it was an owl. I don't know if you can see this thing in the dark here, but this thing's two levels. So I'd be surprised if an owl could get perched up on that second thing. So maybe it is a raccoon or something. But uh yeah, I'm going to leave it in there for bait, not for bait, but just to kind of see if uh, whatever it is comes back and I can find it and see what it is and um, I'll have to do a lot more, a lot more predator proofing. Yeah, again, you can't really see, you can kind of make the shape of it right there, right next to that tree in the middle there. There's an owl sitting there watching the coop. But I don't know if that's what's getting the quail or he's just watching the uh, chicks that are locked in the other coop. But uh, either way, that's concerning. But um, yeah, the other coop has smaller hardware cloth around around the coop. The quails were a little bit bigger, but I still thought they were small enough that uh, nothing would be able to get in there. So I think we're going to better light and just see if we can light this up, guy up a little bit more. So you can see what we're dealing with. This guy's pretty fearless. I've been throwing pine cones at him, trying to get him to leave, and he won't. But uh, yeah, I can use the flash better than my phone, so I'll take a photo so you guys can actually see just how close he is from there on that stick, just to where our coop is. So all our other birds and turkeys, chickens and stuff are in there. But I guess uh, yeah, we'll show you in the morning. But you can kind of see that hardware cloth there is. Uh, Nice and small for the coop, and I would have thought the quail one was small enough, but uh, apparently not, because I guess they can fit their, fit their heads through it, because they've obviously got their heads through out of there, so this is kind of the mesh that we have uh, on our quail coop, but uh, as you can see, and that did not do the trick. So we're up here again. I'm going to go in and get closer to him, but I don't know if you can see right now, but that is an owl that's here and sitting right outside that coop. So at this point, I'm pretty confident that's what's been getting them. I'll take a quick photo to see if we can see it better too. Yeah, he just actually hopped up on that coop too. And we kind of left it in there as a little, the carcass in there as a, a bit of a temptation just to see if we could see something else if it was coming back on what it was. But I don't know how close it's going to let me get here before he takes off. And I know you can't really see it in the dark, but he is right there. the carcass that he's after 
<laughs> trying to pull it through. That's how he ripped the heads off. Wow. Well, you know what? I'm glad we caught this and we know what it is now. And honestly, I'd rather it be an owl than raccoons or otters or mink or something. I was wondering how he got the guys in the top. I'm like three feet away right now. They're so tame. Hey, buddy. Okay. Well, it's an owl, so I'm not going to try and trap it or do anything with it, but uh, like we said, we'll get some smaller hardware cloth on those grates there so that it can't get in and do uh, do what it just did. Because the way it jumped up there, that was super quick. It easily could have grabbed a bird if it was out here in the dark and sneaking up on it like that. So well, I'm glad we know for sure what it is, and now we know uh, how to deal with it. So obviously it's super disappointing to lose all of our quail, but... Uh, yeah, it's nature, I guess.